Welcome to another show. Two actresses that are often mistaken for one another are Heather Locklear and Heather Thomas. This week, we're going to look at both actresses' careers. What are you thinking about, Robert? Is that Locklear or Thomas? Wise guy. Yes. In one of the more humorous scenes in the Motley Crue biopic The Dirt, Rebecca Graff plays Heather Locklear, and her soon-to-be husband, Tommy Lee, mistakes her for Heather Thomas. Today, we'll look at the careers of both actresses, so you can finally tell the difference. Two actresses that are sometimes mistaken for each other include Heather Locklear and Heather Thomas. Locklear born on September 25, 1961, in Los Angeles, California, the daughter of Diane Nay Tinsley a production executive, and Bill Locklear, an administrator at UCLA and former colonel in the United States Marine Corps. She has Lumbee ancestry. Heather Thomas was born in Greenwich, Connecticut, in 1957 to Gladie Lou Ryder, a special education teacher in the Santa Monica Malibu Unified School District. She graduated from Santa Monica High School in 1975 and went on to attend UCLA School of Theater, Film and Television, graduating in 1980. While at UCLA, she was a member of the Chi Omega sorority. Heather started acting at age 14, when she was one of the hosts of a series on NBC called Talking with a Giant, in which she interviewed celebrities. In 1978, she began acting in small television roles. She appeared in the series Co-Ed Fever, of which she later said, it was canceled after the third commercial. Scene 26. Take three, Jody, action! Thomas was chosen for the role of Jody Banks in The Fall Guy, which starred Lee Majors and was produced by Glenn Larson from its 1981 premiere to its 1986 cancellation. Thomas became addicted to substance during her run in the program and entered rehabilitation for that addiction in the mid-1980s. She appeared in several movies, the first of which was zapped in 1982. You were fantastic in there. Ah, oh, they're just messing with the wrong guys. I hate to say it, but I think the park is closing soon. But she gave up acting in 1998. Thomas appeared on numerous pin-up posters during the 1980s. Heather Locklear made her earliest screen appearances in the early 1980s with small roles in episodes of Chips, 240 Robert and 8 is Enough, before beginning a long-term collaboration with Aaron Spelling. Oh, I'm sorry, Aunt Crystal? <laughs> Who are you? Well, if you're my aunt, I'm your niece. Sammy Joe, remember? Spelling cast her in the role of Sammy Joe Dean during season two of his TV series Dynasty. In the following year, he cast her in the cop show T.J. Hooker with William Shatner. Where'd you pick up that trick with the baton? Hooker taught me. Sort of makes up for my size. Yeah. Until the mid-1980s, Locklear appeared as a series regular on T.J. Hooker, while making semi-regular appearances on Dynasty. And Aunt Crystal came and visited us once for about a month. Oh, but you don't care about this. Oh, but I do. After T.J. Hooker ended in 1986, she became a full-time cast member on Dynasty until its cancellation in 1989, following Dynasty. Yes. When do I get my money? Locklear appeared as Drew Barrymore's mother in Firestarter and had a starring role in the 1989 film The Return of Swamp Thing. They call me Swamp Thing. You're a plant, aren't you? For which she won the satirical Razzie Award for Worst Actress. She also starred in the short-lived sitcom Going Places. Heather Thomas appeared in eight theatrical releases including such Z-grade productions as Zapped, Cyclone, and My Giant with Billy Crystal. Her final film role was 2014's Girl Trash All Night Long. On television she appeared on episodes of B.J. and the Bear, The Misadventures of Sheriff Lobo and T.J. Hooker. Just like that? All the whore wants is her money, that's what you think, huh? So, uh, I'm in a hurry. Go on. 
she was in the main cast of Lee Major's hit series The Fall Guy as Jody Banks. Thomas married Alan Rosenthal in August 1985. Rosenthal is one of the founders of Coane Anonymous. They divorced in September 1986. In that same month, she was struck by a car while crossing San Vicente Boulevard, and she sustained serious injuries to both of her legs. In October 1992, Thomas married entertainment attorney Harry Marcus Skip Brittenham. Their daughter was born on June 19, 2000. Thomas left acting in part due to being harassed by stalkers, as well as a desire to focus on her family and to explore writing. When asked by Reuters in 2009, was it really so bad in the 1980s that you had to quit? She replied, yes, I was getting so stalked. I had one guy climb over the fence with a knife one time. I had these two little girls and they desperately needed raising so that was that. But I think now I have gotten so old that people won't bother me much. Oh my god. Is that Heather Locklear? In the flesh. Did somebody order a bitch? Heather Locklear had a more prolific career. Famous for her role as Amanda Woodward on Melrose Place, for which she received four consecutive Golden Globe nominations for Best Actress Television Series Drama. She is also known for her role as Sammy Jo Carrington on Dynasty, her first major television role, which began a long-time collaboration with producer Aaron Spelling. Other notable television roles include Officer Stacey Sheridan on T.J. Hooker and Caitlin Moore on Spin City. Cut. What was that? I slapped you. Yeah, no, I know. You don't slap. I mean, there's no slapping on Spin City. For which she earned two more Golden Globe nominations, she had a recurring role on the TV Land sitcom Hot in Cleveland and a main role on the TNT drama comedy television series Franklin and Bash in 2013. Her film roles include the science fiction thriller Firestarter, the action comedy Money Talks, the live action animated comedy Looney Tunes, Back in Action and the romantic comedy The Perfect Man. Beginning with Firestarter, she did 13 major motion pictures, so far, ending with 2013's Scary Movie 5. So let's talk about Black Swan. Were you a fan of that movie? And when you found out that you had to spoof it, was that exciting? It was the Barbara Hershey role. I thought it was great. Locklear was married to Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee from May 1986 to 1993. After their divorce, she married Bon Jovi guitarist Richie Sambora on December 17, 1994, in Paris. She gave birth to their only child, daughter Ava Elizabeth Sambora, on October 4, 1997. Locklear filed for divorce from Sambora in February 2006. The following month Sambora filed for joint custody of their daughter and enforcement of a prenuptial agreement. Their divorce was finalized in April 2007. In the same month, Locklear began a relationship with fellow Melrose Place alumnus Jack Wagner. In August 2011, Locklear and Wagner announced they were engaged. The couple called off their engagement by that November. In April 2020, Locklear became engaged to former motocross racer Chris Heiser, whom she first dated in high school. That was our show for today. What do you think? Were you a fan of either Heather? Did you get their roles confused? Let me know in the comments section and, while you're at it, I'd be honored if you subscribed to my channel, rang the bell to stay informed, and check out my Carl Vincent Vampire Hunter franchise in the comments section. Until next time this is Axel and for Kevin Given saying live long and prosper, may the force be with you and keep reaching for the stars.